I, I try to, um, again, rhetoric, just basically people ideology. And um, whenever you hear any preacher teach, a part of that person is going to be taught to you as well, as far as their likes and their dislikes. But I try to be as honest and fair, as transparent as possible, to let y'all know why I see and how I see things. You need to do that. You need to do that. Ask people what's their prejudice when they teach. What do you mean my prejudice? That's stupid. You have prejudice. You have likes and dislikes. And you want to know because their dislike might be a like to you. Right. Y'all got it? And you don't want somebody of prejudice to put you at a disadvantage. Okay? Y'all know what prejudice is? Well, let's look it up then. I put prejudice up though. So y'all can see it. Now we're going to get ready to roll at the same time. All right? Why they're going to get ready to put that up there? You go ahead and sound it. Y'all can sound the Kato Sarah. My goal is to educate y'all. Go ahead. No, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Most high, Kudai Shaba, the separated father. I do, Father, you've done and granted unto us for sparing our Kai, our lives, <clears throat> for giving us an opportunity to come and shama your Dabarim, to hear your words. Um, Palawing unto you, which is asking you to baraka us and lamid us, which instruct us and teach us that we might receive the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the spirit of separation. Uh, Palawin unto you, which is asking you that you will look down from Shamaim and have recom upon us, which are your mercies. Baraka us uh, by your kasid, by your favor, uh, according to the berif you shabbat to Abraham, Yatsakak, Yakob, the Yahudim, and Yasharal, to their Tuladaf, which are their generations even to us. Baraka us and recover those that are gone and taken from us. I do for what you've done and thus far to bringing us even unto this hour, that we should come and we should acknowledge your, your Shabbats, that we should acknowledge you in all our Dirac, that you might direct our path. We ask you to, to search us and see if there be any Rasha Dirac, which are any evil ways, cast it from us and lead us in the Arak everlasting, which is the way of life. Uh, although our words are always the same, our desire is as well that you will yasha us, which is deliver us before it's everlasting too late. Um, that you would um, have that recom upon us, those mercies, because truly we need them. We have fallen short. We have gone astray. We have lacked the knowledge of what you said, and this is the reason why we're being destroyed. But now you, um, you pricked our lives, our minds, and our lives, our hearts, that we can truly consider that we are in a, a dire strait, that without you we can do nothing. We're sorry for our hesitation, our procrastination, for our lagging and dragging, for our complaining, for our looking and lusting at the other things and desiring other things that were contrary, all contrary to your kudash will, which is your separated desires. But now into this time we come and we ask for you to please forgive us. Please confirm us and reestablish us. Grant us an understanding of your dabarim, of your words, that we'll know how to halak, is how to walk. Barack of those that are watching in, that they might get an understanding. Touch the lob of our young people that are out there watching as well, as well as others. Grant them their lob's desire. Grant them a ra'a as in your own lob. Asking you, as we prepare to move further, that you would um, let the debar of our paw, which are the words of our mouth, let the meditation of our law, which is of our hearts, be acceptable in your own, which is in your sight. And as we prepare to move further, we palau, in which we ask that you take full control, that you get the tahalim, the praises, the kabood, the glory, and the kabod, the honor, in the shem, which is the name of Yahushua, Yahushua HaMashiach. Let us all say, Amen. All right. I know we're going to start off with. Damn. Appreciate it. Okay. Prejudice. Prejudice.
prejudice. How they break it down? Prejudice. Uh, preconceived opinion that is not based on reason or actual experience. That preconceived would be before I would actually even know. Okay? I can have a dislike about you based upon something that I just kind of come up with on my own without actually knowing you. Just hypothetical. You know what? I don't like him because he's stupid. Now, have I dealt with him? Do I know him? No. This would be what we look at for preconceived. That I've taken on an opinion about something and it hadn't been based off of actual literal facts. Y'all got it? So that's when you look at with prejudice. Like you hear white people, I hate all niggas. Ask me why. Because they stink. Do y'all stink? Do you stink? So that wouldn't be an actual truth then, would it? That would be a preconceived notion, idea, or opinion based upon something that's not actual or factual, okay? It makes sense? So that's why I say it when a person preaches, you want to make sure that you're aware of what's their prejudice. They don't, they don't offend me. What's your prejudice? Because you don't want somebody to have a preconceived idea when it comes down to your salvation. Because a person preconceived idea could hurt you, could limit you from getting to salvation. This way is so critical, so critical. You know, you'll have a person, they'll put them in critical condition. So let's put up critical. Can we put up critical? Hold on, did y'all, have y'all gotten this? Y'all still right? Okay. They not finished yet. But that'll be our next one we're going, we'll look at critical. See, the more this, the more this language you learn, the more you kind of understand what people use different verbiage on you, you use different language that you're more, you're aware of what they're saying, okay? That's what you want to do, you want to be aware of. A lot of times people have talked over our head for years because we didn't know what they were saying. We assume, based off of the sentence and how it's used, we assume to know. But when we look up words, we realize it was actually a lot more to that than what we knew. Y'all got it? Just like rhetoric. They would tell all the time, he's here with his rhetoric. And this just sounds like somebody just kind of running off. But that's more or less their idea, their ideology too. You'll think because they're using this rhetoric that they just said this guy just spewing out something. But it actually, that's their ideology. That's how they see things. That's actually how they put things out. And it's important for us to know that because these white people say a lot of stuff and we don't pay attention. We don't, we don't think it's important to us. But these are the people that make decisions about your life. When you got people that are making decisions about whether you live or you die, whether you work or whether you're unemployed, whether you're healthy or whether you're sick, whether you get help or you get no help, you need to know what they're saying. Y'all got me. You need to know what they're saying. Got it? Those people are, those people are called influencers. Y'all got it? They can make things happen either for you or against you. Okay, we've done that for years. My mother, her parents, words went over their head for years. They had no reason to look at it. It's just whatever they say. That's how they grew up in a time where that's just how the world was. Am I correct? Y'all weren't, I'm telling you, what you, you, did you grow up with y'all talking about, we're going to change the world? Did your dad teach you about change? Did your dad and mom talk to you about changing the world? Aim Smith. How y'all could change the world, how y'all could make a difference, how y'all could band together and you can create and have. You just, all we knew and all they knew was you just get up and you just pray. Go to work and pray, son. That's all they could get. That's the best advice they could give you. Just pray. You were praying and you didn't know what to pray for and you didn't know who to pray to. And then you didn't know how you had to do, at that point, you had to do application for what you were asking for. If I want knowledge of Allahim, does it make sense to me just to ask or am I going to need to be, what would y'all think I need to do? Huh? Obey. Obey, obey his what? Obey. How I'm obey his, so if I just pray and obey his commandments, what's the first thing I'm going to need to do? I'm going to need what? I need, I need to know. Exactly right. Otherwise, I don't know him and I'm asking him to just allow me to know his commandments and I don't know him then what am I going to need to have? What's going to need to happen? Come on, I'm listening. I'm just sitting there saying, because they'll be over here acting like they got the answer. I just didn't come over there. That's called slick nigga. <laughs> Which one of y'all going to play slick nigga act like y'all knew once y'all heard the answer? But Which one of y'all going to play slick? Who? Alice. What's the answer? We ain't got this yet. What's the answer? Oh, he said, I need to know. Exactly. 
So we'll look and we'll find out. Y'all got this, y'all wrote this down? President, all right, we're gonna look at critical. <clears throat> yeah, critical and stage is critical. Expressing adverse or disapproving comment or judgment, no. Expressing or involving an analyst on analysis of the merits, merits and faults of a work. Look, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Somebody say yes, that's it. Having a decisive or critical importance in, in success, failure, or, ex, or existence of something? I don't like that. I don't like it. Put critical care. That's probably why I'm doing it, because critical got too many openings for what I want. Critical care. <clears throat> you put define, probably won't put define, just put critical care. Meaning, okay, what is critical care? Critical care is medical care for people who have life threatening injuries. Y'all got that in illnesses. It usually takes place in an intensive care unit, which they call the ICU. A team of special trained health care providers give you 24-hour care. This includes using machines to constantly monitor your vital signs. It also usually involves giving you specialized treatment. Y'all got that? This is critical. Critical care. Y'all got it? This is a medical, this is basically you'll deal with this from a medical terminology. Y'all got it? And it's people that have life-threatening injury and illnesses. Y'all got that? That's what critical care is. That means those people have an injury or an illness. Can y'all give me an injury that y'all can name? Let me get a hand. Give me an a, a injury that, that you can name that would put you in critical care. Brandon, so you could hear me before I said it. Say it loud enough so they can hear you. Car crash. Car crash. Okay. Okay. Who got me some else? Uh, Makaya? Say it louder. A who? Heart start beating, heart attack. Exactly right. I'm gonna come back. You have a lot. You had answer before we start the class. How about eyes? So we got the same eyes. What you got? Oh, don't mess it. Don't mess this up. They for the eye team. What you got? High blood pressure. What made you say that? <laughs> Change your answer. I got high blood pressure. I need critical care. That joke said. <laughs> well, let me say this. High blood pressure can cause injuries that can lead to critical care. If it's not taken care of, it can cause a stroke. Um, it can cause aneurysm. Uh, that means it'll keep happening every year. Don't worry about it. <laughs> An aneurysm is going to cause like bleeding on the brain. So these are different things that blood pressure untreated can happen, okay? So, you count a half and half. Who else? What you got, Joy? Index finger. A, a what now? Index Your finger. index finger. Go ahead. Your daddy taught you that, didn't he? <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't get that from his mama. Hey, why would that man think an index finger would have him in critical care? <laughs> critical care. You see your daddy index finger? No, that's the index finger. That's the pink it out. Uh, what you got, Helen? A fractured skull. Yeah, I can go with that. So all these different things that they named, I had this figure. Oh, uh, yeah, that's another one coming. I divide the hand. I start counting down. Yeah. What you got? Yeah. A leg injury. What kind of leg injury? Oh, if you ran into a rock? Have you ran into a rock and hurt your leg and had critical, need critical care? Huh. That, well, they, they find they, 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 well, you know what? It's good, you know, let's, let's look at stuff like a, a gunshot to the head. Because if I shoot you in the foot, that wouldn't be critical. It'll be an injury. So you can have an injury and it's not 
actually life threatening. The reason why you would put a person in critical care is because you're pretty much looking at the injury is, is threatening your life. It can cause you to die. So at that point, your life is so critical that someone has to monitor you 24 hours. If they're not there, they'll attach you to a machinery that'll keep up with blood pressure constantly, that'll keep up with pulse rate, that'll keep up with heart rate because it's critical. And they'll set it to where those, that system, those machines are designed to know, to, 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 um, to signal them. So they'll know to get in there and they'll know exactly what's going on. The heart monitor is going out, your pulse rate going too high, your blood pressure drop, or your blood pressure too high. It's so critical we got to monitor everything about you in order to keep you from dying. That makes sense. Critical care. That's what you're doing when you're in here. You need your hood 24 hours a day. Because of the things that happen and where we're at, we're in a life-threatening situation. And because of that life-threatening situation, we got to be on a constant care. You got it? 24 hours, what people will believe, come here, come to service, leave, it's over. No, it's critical. We have to constantly be under the watch of. We have to constantly be under the monitoring of. Y'all got it? The people that he's gonna monitor, the people that he's gonna keep up with, the people he's gonna respond to, are people that respond to him. When he, when he gives off a call, a, a call, what is that? The call, what is that? I'm going to have to reach in the, in the audience. A call. Q-O-L, call. Y'all remember what that is? Tell them, what is it? Voice. voice, sound. Your voice makes a sound. You and I speak, you can kind of hear the vibration, it makes a sound. Y'all got it? So he's listening for sound. Just like you hear they put them on the monitor, they're making sounds. Beep, beep, they hear them beep, beep. They're listening to the sound. And that sound alerts them to let them know something is happening, okay? And that's what we want to do. We want to be connected to him so we can hear his sound and he'll hear our sound, okay? That makes sense? Okay, let's go ahead and look at Romans 15 and 4. What you don't want to do is go through here and not know. Now, you guys have moved to the front of the row. It is because... That's a Yahuwah. See, the stuff they had for us when we were y'all age, you go somewhere in color and make figurines. People didn't really put time on it. They'll take you and let you play. Let you get some, you know, give you some pins and let you color Jesus the wrong color. Color Noah art with all them miscounted animals. One pigeon. All right, 16 doves. And I write 55 lions, all this stuff. I mean, the whole ark just destroyed. So now we're trying to come along and make sure that everybody learn and everybody understand. This book for us. Let's see. This is uh, Romans 15 and 4. Listen. For whatever Nikata before. Whatever was written before. Nikata for our Lamed. It was written in order to what we said Lamed was. Well, their word is teach, but in teaching, you don't just only speak, it's also in demonstration, right? Or illustration. You can use pictures, you can use um, visual, you know what I'm saying? Visual, people use what they call visual aid. They'll bring in posters or signs or other things in to make sure that you got a, got a clarity on understanding. So whatever was written before was written, it was written before in order to limit us, in order to show us, okay? The teachers. So that through endurance. What do we say that was? That's right. Going through some without giving way. Y'all remember the illustration we used? And what was that illustration? What we call that? Good answer. How does y'all understand that? Going through some without giving way. How does y'all understand that? That's right. How I, when I used Adam, that was the illustration. I used that when we had you to walk and we kept trying to push you to keep to get you off from trying to make it to where you were supposed to go. So that was a part of our teaching. So we used visual aids in order to show you, not the one Magic Johnson got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right, we saw him had to lead the NBA because he had aids. That's a different help. But now what we try to do is to make sure we all understand it. 
Okay? So that through going through something without giving way and through the coon. That's the only reason to go through without giving way. Why would you, why would, the only reason he should have kept going is because we talked about the reward being greater than what he was dealing with. A lot of people, when things come at them, they don't see the reward, so it's easy not to do it. There's no reason to keep going. It's easy to stop, it's easy to quit because they're not looking at the reward. When you look at the reward, as well as you gotta look at the mosh pot. Y'all remember what we said the mosh pot was? Judgment. That's why everybody gotta give an account for what they've done. Whatever you've done that we don't know about, it's gonna come up in the mosh pot. That's why I tell people, people say, oh, y'all don't know that man. That man in there sleeping around with them women. That man gay, that man done. I'm not worried what these people say. Whatever I'm doing gonna come up in the mosh pot. That's right. So whether you don't know it or whether you know it or not, it's coming up in the mosh pot. So that's what we consider. So if we're willing to go through and not give away, he's willing to give us something. I'm willing to give you a consolation for the fact that you didn't quit, for the fact you didn't give in. Of the... Get the beans. That's, that's where we get it from. So it started with whatever was written before. We started at Barashit. Then we found out why it was written in order to show us and teach us so that while we're going through something, we don't give away. And there's a consolation for that. Y'all get that? There's a comfort in not giving away. And it all comes through the writings so that we might have... Take for we have a cord. Y'all got it? That's right. That's our connection. We got a cord. Some got to tie you in. Y'all got it? Let's see what he told right quick at 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. Second Corinthians 5 and 10. Let's see what he told him. Now, this is only prevalent or available to you if you believe it. That's what you got to tell yourself. First of all, is it even something you believe? Like people say, um, you ought to get saved. You tell me, my mom just called me, she to tell me, she said, I've been praying for you. You know what I'm saying? You need to get saved. I hang the phone up. I didn't want to hear it. I was selling dope, I was shagging up. I know I was wrong, I knew it was just a matter of time for something to come down. I was like, don't call, I, she not hang, I slammed that phone out. I said, don't call me with that janky stuff. Bah! She said, she'll be talking to me and she'll mess up, she'll say, do you pray? I'm like, what? Bam, hang the phone out. I was like, I did not want to hear that. Don't call me with that stuff. I'm out here selling dope, I'm out here shacking up, and I don't need to be hearing about no, do I pray? Do I, I was already thinking about everything I'm dealing with, trying not to get caught, trying to figure how you get out of this, and then somebody asks you, are you praying? Do you, hey, you, you ought to get saved, you ought to go to church. I just hang the phone up. Bam, I didn't want to hear it. Like, why would you call me with this? Now you just put more on my mind, more on my mind that trouble me and bother me and I'm already troubled. When you see people like that, people are not going through. They're not as comfortable as they think. Because you have to live another life. It's easier to be you than to try to be a whole bunch of other people. It's just easier. Because whenever you're pretending, you don't ever stop. Your pretending keeps going. Instead of you can just be you and you have a real conscious mind and a clear mind. Well, you got to keep running. You got to remember what lie, when you tell the lie, where you tell the lie, where you can do it, where you can't do it. You got to keep from trying to bottle things or bungle things up versus you can just be one way. You can just be who you are all the time. That's why I'm the same person. You ain't going to come out and catch me on the strike. Like, oh, let me stop. I got to be somebody else. I'm exactly who I am. Y'all got it? And that's who you want to be. So when it comes down to being saved, let me ask y'all a quick. Do any one of y'all know why you want to, why? What is salvation? Nobody know what salvation is. So we've been trying to sell y'all something. Y'all don't know what it is. Do y'all want to know what salvation is? Okay. Can we put up salvation, the definition of salvation? Because while y'all learn it, they learn it too. Because most of them don't know. And I'll tell you something else that you want to consider after we get through with that. This before we read on, before we kind of, before we get into 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. That heat not on, is it? That's just probably me. So, oh, we'll put a 69. Might have to do 68. That way somebody do it in the old one. Salvation. I like that. Salvation. Where do you get older? Salvation. 
This is, this is from, it comes from the Latin. This is not actually our word for us. We will use Yeshua. Or Yahushua. Y'all got it? That's, that's our word for salvation. This word salvation, we're only using it because we speak English and this is what we know English, but we'll look at the Aubrey as well. So salvation comes from the Latin salvato, what is that? Salvatio? What is salvato? I don't know how you pronounce that. Who in here Latin? What just that? Mexican? I told everybody. Y'all did right. Do y'all know every 30 seconds you can pull a Mexican out of the toilet and you can stop another town from flooding? Most people don't know that. <laughs> if you keep one Mexican by your side every 30 seconds, you'll stop a town from flooding. All right, this, is, this is Latin. From salva, safe, saved. So that's basically what we look at salvation. But this basically shows you where the word even comes from. It actually comes from the Latin. It's good to know stuff like that because your enemy will play you. He'll make you think he came up and he invented something. He stole it from them and they stole it from us. That's all they did. They just changed the names of the actual words to try to protect the identity so you don't know you have a connection. That's why white folks try to come and give you salvation. Isn't that right? Because they're going to induce you. Since it's their word, they took it from the land. The lands came along, and they tricked you up, and they gave you your Jesus. Well, they put the J on it, and they messed you all up. So, you know, that's a whole nother conversation. It is a state of being saved or protected from harm or a dire situation, from a critical situation. This is why we're looking at salvation. So when you're in critical care, the purpose of those machines, those monitoring, monitoring you, having people watch over you 24 hours a day. You know why? Salvation. Let's see salvation again. They put it to cramp, confine, okay. It's the state of being saved or protected from harm or a dire situation. If you were had a gunshot to the head, your brain is there. So having somebody constantly watching you for 24 hours and having you on monitors um, um, checking you the whole time, that's because they're trying to, that's a form of salvation. They're trying to keep you from dying. The purpose of us coming here is for salvation. To deliver us from or protect us from harm or a dire situation, a critical situation. That makes sense. They didn't know. Like people, how many of y'all been told you need to be saved? You need to get saved. Most of them didn't even know what it was. We just know people keep telling you you must need it. People say you need a coat, you need a coat, you need a coat, you need a coat, you need a coat. Until you get sick, you don't really understand why. They said, see, you had a coat. You said, you just kept telling me have a coat. You didn't tell me I could get sick. I could get critically ill from, you know, a cold. Then I would have took more serious. They told us to get saved, but they didn't tell us what was the severity or how critical it was for us not getting it. This is to keep you from harm and from a dire situation, from being in critical condition, being in a state of unrepair, putting you in ruins. When you get a building, they tell you the building is in ruins. That means it can't be repaired. So the purpose of salvation is to keep you from being in a situation where you can't be repaired. Okay? That's the first thing we need to understand. Critical and salvation. Now we'll look at the Aubrey word, please. But I said, uh, Yeshua, I think it'll come with it. With Yasha, deliverer. Yasha, which one we're going to? Well, I mean, you go to, we had Yeshua to be safe, to rescue. Let's look at salvation. That's the shortage. Yeshua. Yahushua. Yeshua is how you pronounce it. This is one of He will save. Y'all got it? This is what you'll find out the He. He will save. That's going to be your save. The He. He will save. Okay? They put that. They put Jeshua. It's what they'll put like Joshua. The name of their tale of 10. We don't know about no Israelite. We, I know more about but like than I do about Israelite. Also of a place in Yasharal. So if, this is, if you're in a place called Yeshua, what goes on now? What is it? Stand, say it loud, they give you. You're safe. That's right, you're safe. You see, that, that makes a lot of sense. If the name tells me that he will save, if I dwelt in a place called Yeshua, what's, what am I looking for? Safety. safety. I'm in the ark of safety. Y'all got it. Now we'll see how that work out, because now we've been told that also this was a place in Yasharal. Okay? Yes, sir. Can we see where it is in Yasharal? 
Okay, we'll get around. He want a lot now. Typically what we try to do, we don't try to answer every question. We try to leave some on the table. No, that's fine. We get it. Look at let's see right quick. Uh the the eighteenth chapter of the book of Marshall Lee, verse ten. Is that okay with you, Pastor Dexter? Thank you. I like to share it with them preacher. What about you, Chimp? Bishop Chimp. Yeah, preacher. He was gonna be my ruler. He messed around with Hayward. I don't know what made him think he was going to be a friend. He was so proud. That's my battle. That's my battle. That's military talk. You know, yeah, that's my battle. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, that's my friend. I said, hey, well, tell him what happened. He gone. Hey, was said, man, lose my number. He said, what? He was said, man, play. He said, man, he was said, you can take my number out your phone now. I said, hey, well, tell me how he your best friend. Baby said, my best friend. I didn't know he was no best friend. <laughs> Hey, we cut on him quick. Hey, hey, you done changed up. We, said, we tried to tell you. You done pulled away from him. Now you done got out there. So let's look at this. This is the 18th chapter of the book of Marshall Lee. That they're called Proverbs, right? So basically, this is just getting down right to the point when we look at a Marshall Lee, okay? That's all. You're just getting right to the point. Listen. Marshall 18 and 10. Listen. The Shem of Yahuwah is a strong tower. You see, listen what it is. The name of Yahuwah is a strong tower. Listen what happened. The Sadiq runneth into it and is safe. So what could it possibly be? Yes, sure. You see that? Salvation. So people that are right, people that are doing right, are looking for a safe place. Well, what other better place would it be than the Shem of Yahuwah? Than the Shem of Yahuwah. And when you run into it, it's, it's actually Yeshua. Got it? So that's why we look to him for salvation. You know who gonna, who's, who's going to look for this city? People that want to be saved. Who else going to look for this city? Y'all missed it. So I got to reach out here. Protection. Who else going to look for this city? Who else? Okay. That's why we try to, that's why we want to call no preacher. How you doing, Rudy? Boom. <laughs> He's a academic. Who? Don't need critical care. How about people? Who? How about, that's right, people that's a deep. The only people that wouldn't come to that city, the only people that wouldn't look to it is somebody who actually wouldn't want to be saved. Hmm? Think about it. The only people that wouldn't, listen to what he told you. The Shema Yahuwah is a strong. What, when we go to the 10th chapter, we had to go to, in the 10th chapter, let me see, no, no, 10, 11th chapter of the book of Barashit, which they'll call Genesis 11th chapter, what were they building? They were building a tower. They reached where? And what were they trying to get? They said, let's what happened. They were going to be scattered. So they were looking for a safe haven, a place where they could reside and they could stay together. They knew that was going to be a detriment to them if they were scattered, if they were dispersed, if they were separated. So let's build a place where we can all cohabitate. We can stay there. And this would keep us together. And the height of it would reach the Shamaim. So now he just told you, guess what happened? So this premise didn't go away. The only problem is the people that tried to build the first time, they weren't right. Because we look, he said, see, the Shem of Yahuwah is a strong. That's what they were trying to build. The Sadiq, the righteous, Sadiq, they run, they runs, they runs. Into it and is yes, yeah, so they save. See that? So now it made sense for us to go to who? Yahushua. That's if you should. They you yeah Yahushua yeah they put they put yeah Yahushua something saved the act or the instance of saving or rescuing a soul. That's why he was so important to us. So now when he had a name like that, if I wanted to be saved, who would I go to when I hear a name like that? 
So if I went to that name, I would be looking for somewhere to be safe. Now, what else would I need to do in order for me to go into that name? I'm going to ask y'all, y'all don't get an answer, I'm going to ask them. What's the first thing I'm going to need to do? Get to the ball. Understanding. Gab, you pretty, you got an answer? Maybe you want to, I mean, I did, but probably cheat off somebody's paper. I mean, you got to, somebody get an answer. Man. What we going to? Right. Say it louder. Get right. Say it like I can hear you. Get right. That's the first thing. Ain't going to make no sense to go to it if it ain't right. Because he said the Sadiq, they run into it and they save. Which means that for me, they're going to stay there. So the first thing I got to do is to get right. Yes, sir, Joseph. You said what now? Follow Yahuwah's commandment. Those are going to be good. And guess what? That's going to make me right. So and I could say I'm right, but what determines I'm right? Because I said it. Because I feel like it. Because I don't have COVID. That's how I know I'm right. So the only thing that can deem us right is the debar. That's how important the word is. This ain't something that we can just take for ourselves. This is something that's mandated by him. He told us that by their pari, an apple, an apple because an apple told us an apple, or an apple is an apple because there are characteristics that define an apple. And that's how we can say that's an apple. An orange don't just tell us it's an orange. It has the characteristics of an orange. The coloring, the nutrition, the vitamins that it, uh, that, that it entails inside of it. That's what deems it to be an apple and where uh, uh, apple and orange and where it comes from. The other day I was out and I was, um, I was, in, um, I was on by this gate and I was picking some oranges off the gate from the vine. And um, they were sweet too. You said what now? Did y'all catch that? I said I picked them off a vine. Y'all didn't catch that. Y'all figured I said they come off a tree, but y'all were going along. How many of y'all were just rolling with the rolling with the story? Come on. Well, see, um, Danny, you were rolling with the story. That's good. You were rolling too. Man, when y'all gonna start rolling? Man, take your wheels off, man. No, but I say that so you make sure you pay attention to what people tell you. Don't let people make a fool out like you. Yeah, so he had a hand before you. I'm gonna get you. What you got? You was wrong too. Oh, I know. Yes, sir. Who? A hob, a hobbin. Oh yeah, a hobbin. Oh, we got to do that. But all that's going to detail in us doing what's right. That's what we're looking at first about what's right. Okay. So I just want to make sure we kind of understand that. So this is important for us. Okay. Something saved. Okay. Let's see right quick at the eighth chapter of the book of Yehuchanan. Since we use the eighth, since we use this, the eighteenth chapter. Let's see how this tie it up. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, okay, nah. See if it's eight and uh, let's see thirty six. I don't know why eight and thirty six. Let me see. Let me think. That's what I want. Hold on for a minute. Mm. Why am I thinking that? Okay, let's see something. Eight and thirty-six. Mm. Let's see. We'll read down. Let's see if it'll give me what I want. Listen, eight and thirty-six. You Ukanan, they call it John. Listen. If the bend, therefore, shall make you free. So if the bend, so if the bend makes you the benim of freedom, you shall be free indeed. Mm. So it'll make you the sons of freedom. So interesting. Okay. Do my favor. Let me see. Uh, let's look at uh, Corinne. Which is the word for freedom? Are y'all getting that for me? Appreciate it. Somebody choking? I don't know. 
One of them piece of candy went the wrong way. I know that'll do it too. So the cop is the root word. Kazak. Kazak. Y'all remember what the cough is? It's what? Say it loud. The wall. Typically you use a wall to do what? Keep people out or keep them in. This is where it's taking us to. Still going, okay. It's got to be a reason. I, I think that um, when I say I think, not just actually I think, it's conclusive to looking at why we kind of don't understand things. Because in his speech, when he says certain things, there are things that we should catch, you know what I'm saying, that we should know. And it's things that we don't think about because we feel like, well, it's just a word and keep moving. And a lot of time, it's critical. Y'all got it? Those words can be critical because they can determine whether or not we get the information that's prevalent to salvation. And a lot of time, with not knowing certain verbiage, speeches, or uh, phrases, it hurts us in understanding the whole premise of salvation. I mean, when he was reading, he was talking about whosoever the son shall set free shall be free indeed, I think, right? But then when you read it from here, if he be correct, he said that you became the sons of freedom. You became the children of freedom. So anytime you're looking at children, you got to kind of root back to the parent. You can't have children. Children stem from parents, correct? So when we look at the word, I want to know the word because I want to see exactly where did this actually put us to. Kabash, to spread loose. Okay. Think about it. If you spread it loose, it's free. It's separated. To manumit. I don't know. Be free. So our word is to spread loose. Y'all understand that? Hmm? To spread loose. That makes sense. White people use the terminology of freedom which means to let go. And you will let go of something that's more or less bound or held captive, okay? So we'll be more or less set to the, the Benin of Kafash, Kafash, or Hafash, because some believe it's H-H and not C-H, but that's argumentative. Another end people have, to spread loose, okay? What is this? To manumit. So why not? A manumation. Well, let's look it up so we can see. Appreciate it. Because you might come in handy one day. He got a lot of stuff he done said that question. But that's the only reason I'm asking. That man done said so much stuff, man. We was out there eating in Buffalo. He just shot somebody in the mouth. We was just looking. That man, we were looking. Something just popped up on the TV. Skateboard. Y'all seen him doing a skateboard on white just shooting. That man said, man, my friend that door to me had one of them things. We looked. We said, he said, hold on for a minute. Man, what's your name? What's your age? He like, huh? We like, no. you just can't, we don't know, you ain't never told her about that. What you call that thing with it have in it back here? A hair pocket. Hair pipe. Yeah, that's what I thought. I know that man by, how you, how old are you, Chris? 42, I know that man by 52 years. That man never used that word. Release from slavery, set free. Manumit. Y'all got it? These are words that people don't tell you. He would know it because of political science. So a lot of words you're going to root back to know where things kind of come from. They're only going to tell them so much. A lot of other stuff you get got to be more your own in-depth study. School is not actually set to teach you how to root the different things. Unless you just have a professor or a teacher that really, really more to intrigue you to look at. They taught me this and they limited me. And I'm not going to limit you guys. 
Very few people get professors like that. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to push you to look more than what you hear. Like a lot of times we look at books and we look at a book depending on the thickness, the cover, and, the, and the, you know, and all the illustration they put, we'll give validity to it. You know what I'm saying? But then you look at the three little pigs. It's got a cover. It's got illustration and writing. Little Red Riding Hood. You know what I'm saying? And we'll fall for these different, ad, you know, these um, tricks that people use on us. So for us, we got to investigate. So the word that we would actually would have used, this is an English word, ma uh, manument, is to let y'all know, release from slavery, set free. So he said, you'll become the children of those that are set free. Okay? The Benin. Okay? Let's see. Let's go back. So y'all see this? Kafash. That's where it's actually going to take us back to. Be free. Okay. We can go back. So now, 8 and 36 of the book of Yerukanah. So if the being, which is the son, makes you benim of, they put Korean here, which is Kafash, you shall truly be, well, truly be set free. Because what we look at, you, you, you think about Yasharal. Yasharal was free from where? Captivity. What captivity? Mizraim. They were not free from Qatar. They were free from Qatar first. There was no reason to kill them on the way. So that's when you start looking at being truly free. We looked at even with, like they tell about slavery. Quote, unquote, the Negro is free. But he's still a victim. So is he truly free? He's not Kafash. Right? He's not truly, he's not really loose to really be truly free. And that's the freedom we're trying to get. So there's another captivity. All the way we understood sin, really understand, was to understand captivity. Okay? Because captivity didn't allow us to do things. We wanted to go and serve and worship, but captivity kept us holding. It's like people say, people watch me and say, I, I really want to live right. I listen to you. I really want to do it. But because they're in captivity. Now, if they were to get kafash, which means they would be truly set free, loosed. Y'all got it? They'll be free. You know what I'm saying? Untangled. A lot of times with us, we entangle ourselves. He even told us, no man that war the warfare. They'll tell you, anybody been in combat. A lot of soldiers get killed. Let me tell you, they get killed. Fooling around with that woman. Worry about what she's doing. Get them killed because they can't think. Worry about that car, them rim. Worry about them pay. You had to put your mind a whole nother place. They know that a lot of souls, they mess up. They want to get out here and they kill themselves on the battlefield. They want to commit suicide because he got, he got a dear John letter. They know that dear John letter. You know he got it because he's quiet. They fold them, put them. They know him, I tell them, get them killed every time. So when you want a warfare and our own writers tell us, you can't entangle yourself with the affairs of this world. Now, if you're entangled into something, let me get you for a second to a tangle. Come on. Go ahead and try to break a little. See, you can't. See, you done got yourself entangled. Now, you're supposed to be paying attention to the teaching, aren't you? Now, what didn't happen? Then got yourself tangled up so you understand the example. So when you want a warfare, guess what you realize? Now, let's do it again, huh? So you're supposed to be that smart this time. You're supposed to be you're doing something. You're supposed to be wanting a warfare, right? And he done got himself entangled, right? No? Now, he ain't paying attention. See that? Now, he see that? Oh, yeah, just slick-eyed joker. <laughs> joker got how I told him in that rhyme. <laughs> he was smooth, though, wasn't he? See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Now, what you doing? Tangled. You ain't got yourself tangled up. What you folks been doing? Paying attention. Paying attention. So y'all understand the illustration. Y'all got it? Now, that's writing for us, so y'all make sure. Right quick, you get to say that. Um, second, Beth, by Naba. They'll call it Second Timothy. See if that's two and four. Say that's what I want. So we'll do that because I want everybody to under. Sometimes if you see an illustration, you get it. That quick, they look you somebody can get you off that fast. And before you know it, I'm trying to, I just try to get you, and how am I I got tied up with you? That's how you gotta look at things when you're looking for salvation. In order to get it, and obtain it, in order to, to keep it. Got it? You can't get yourself entangled with everything. Got it? Either people are gonna block you or pull you from it. Some people, well, I got it, I can no, you can't afford to. Banaba. My friend, do do two and one be fine. 
Okay. Well, so, yeah, right. let's see what happened. This is, they'll call it second Timothy, but it, it's believed his name was Barnaba, which means he was born of the Nabaims, all right? Born of the Naba. all right? Let's see what he told. This two and one. Listen. Thou therefore, my being. Now, my being. Be strong in the Kassid. Be strengthened in the Kassid. They're going to use grace in the Kassid. That is in which Mashiach is the, Yahushua. That, see that, which is the favor, okay? The favor and what he allows and what he gives you. That's why you want to, this way you want to put your strength at and what he gives you. Got it? This is what he gives you. He gives you favor. You want to stay. How do you obtain that favor? By doing things they ask you to do. Okay? It's because they're pleased with actions that you have or you demonstrate. So guess what? They have favor towards you. What you want? You got anything you want? What you want? Ask what you want. Money, and I give it to you. That means I have favor for you because you do something that's pleasing to me. And that's what we learn to do with Yahuwah. He doesn't just give us things. It's because we do things and we try to obtain concede, which they'll call grace, which means we're trying to obtain favor. Okay? That he'll like us enough that he'll give us something. So now he told him, and he's referring to him as though he's his own son. He told him to be strengthened, Right? But he in the he want to be strengthened well in the country. You can be strengthened. You can be strong in wrongdoing. You can have a strong will toward not doing right. So don't want to be strengthened in the con in the faith. I'm sorry in the concede in the favor that is in the Mashiach. Okay, Yahushua, the Anointed One. Let's see what he told us. The things that thou hast shama of me see among that, many. From me in front of many witnesses. The same commit thou to Ammonah Anashim. And, and trust these to Ammonah Anashim that they are able to shout to Lamed others also. So this is what he wants you to do. And trust them to Ammonah Anashim that they are able to instruct, to show, to teach others also. So we talked about Ammonah is building up. What's something we can build up? A house, that's right. A wall, all these different things we can do. We can build up. And that's what he look at those people. You want, in teaching, you're what they'll call enlightening, instructing a person. And the whole purpose of teaching people is to give them an opportunity to go and be able to do more, to increase, enlarging their information, right? Now, and when you build a house, you can only build to the specified codes. If the foundation, is only that big, can I build a house like this? Can y'all see that? Why? Foundation doesn't allow it. It doesn't allow for this building. In order to build this, I gotta have a foundation that measure out to this, okay? I kind of missed my drawing. My foundation has to measure out in order for me to build something of this magnitude of this structure. That's why we look at Amunah. It's building up, supporting. Y'all got it? That's the whole thing they would do. Why would he tell him to entrust it unto Amunah Anashim? Because these guys are for building up, supporting. So it only makes sense that they'll be able to teach others to do what? Tear down, destroy, to build up as well. That's how we get a continuation like the noon. Y'all remember that? The noon, continual. Because if you got a seed, then you can plant it. Then the seed can grow and the seed can bring you pari, veg vegetables. It can bring you, you know, it can bring you some yield in, which means now you'll have more seeds. And now you can go back and plant more. So now it becomes continuous. So when you got Anashim, that's Amuna who are for building up, then if they're teaching, instructing, and showing others, then the building continues. Okay? Makes sense? Does that make sense to y'all as well? Okay. I don't know. They look like they're dying back now. Listen, you don't have to get it. It's only two places you can go, either with Yahuwah or you can go to, or you can go to Sheol. So it's going to be important for us to make sure we understand this to the, to the best of our ability. I don't even know the best I ability be the right word to what he mandate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the only way we're going to make it in. Right All right, let's see what else he told us. Listen. 
Thou therefore endure hardness as a tube soldier. Look at that, endure evils. Rosha as a mighty Kayil. Y'all remember that? Kayil? Do y'all remember where you heard Kayil before? Before I get them, y'all don't remember. How many y'all, how many, let me see y'all hand. How many y'all remember Kayil? You, let me tell you, I'm confused. I thought you said you didn't remember. You do remember. How many y'all remember Kayil? Can I tell them where's Kaya? That's right. Marshall Lee 31 and 10. He told you, they use who can find a virtuous woman. They're talking about a soldier. Okay? Kaya is what you're looking for, a soldier. It's got other meanings as well. Let's look up Kaya right quick. He said soldier. That's not the only one. Yeah, soldier too. How is it not? That's tight. You know that bad when preachers start fighting? It's a force, whether a man, means, or other sources, an army. Who's in the army? Soldiers, wealth, virtue, valor, and strength. See, virtue is a commendable quality. So he used it even for a woman, he looked at her having a commendable quality. It's a good quality for a woman to be able to take care of her home, keep her house up, keep herself clean, be able to manage and do what she's supposed to do. This will make her kaiyo, the fact that she have virtue, a commendable quality. That way he said many have done it, but she did what? She excelled them all. A lot of times you'll get women, they'll do just, the man, they'll do just enough to make it. Same thing with men. I got, I can't do the same thing. They'll do just enough to keep preachers shut up. Like the very to say, we wear them ugly clothes. I wanted to keep preachers so preachers shut their mouth. So I don't have to hear preach a mouth. It ain't my mouth more you need to be worried about. See, when, when I'm looking, when I'm critiquing y'all, instead of y'all looking at me as being the enemy towards you, I'm critiquing you because I want to see a better you. What you're doing is limiting you. You're really not advanced. In your mind, you think you are. But I know your potential a little better. It's kind of like a coach. You get players, they're, they're cussing, having out with coach. I sure they pay that coach for a reason. That's just being honest. Coach, they, they, I don't like coach. Coach made me sick. Kobe stand on me for a reason. Stand on you for a reason. I've seen players like you before. You ain't going to be on my team long. I've seen players like you. You'll cost us the game. You get closer, they know. They sit there watching. They sit out and go and say, you ready to start listening to me now? Or you're going to keep doing it your way? You'll get players get frustrated away. They'll just keep going wrong for the sake of, I'm just pissed right now in myself. And then to show them how. They come back, put up here and start showing you. Let me show you what happened. They be sending us out. How many times y'all look at that film that I play and you realize, this person know what they're doing? They can pick and show you how you getting beat. You, you can't figure it. You thinking you, they beat you every time and the coach goes and start showing you, start looking at them. That's why they pay them. Y'all got, that's why they getting paid because they'll watch it. They know. A lot of times these brothers look trying to stay out of what you do, stay out of his way. That way you ain't got to hear his mouth. That's dangerous because you in critical care. Do you really want to be out of my sight? Take somebody to ICU and let them unhook all that stuff and let them go on out there and stay at that nurse's stage. See what happens when something kick up. Yeah, you ain't nothing I care. We unhook the machine. You didn't want them. They, that noise got on your nerve. All that beeping and folk come in and keep checking them just when you're going to sleep. Your nodding off is sending these machines off. Because you think you're okay, but stuff starts dropping when you go to sleep. So we come in here and we monitor. And guess what? We start, write, we start writing down the information so we keep a tab noticing when things start happening when you're sleeping. So we can try to attack and fix the problem so you can sleep longer. These damn nurses get on my nerve every time I go to sleep. Let me see. You're in ICU. Critical care. 24 hours monitoring to try to make sure we keep you safe. Keep you from detriment. Same thing I get on their nerve. Preacher always said the same thing. You the same thing. Cause preacher see what's gonna happen to you if you don't do differently. You tell sometimes doctor tell you, let it go, leave it go. Them damn doctors don't know nothing. You right. They just went to school and paid all that money and you smart them. That's why you paying them and they ain't paying you. It is people that some stuff. I mean, you be running your mouth. Them damn doctors don't know nothing. As soon as you sick, you think you take me to the hospital. 
You couldn't want to go to the hospital. Them damn doctors don't know nothing. <laughs> right, it is. It's just because we start to fight. It's the fact that we'll fight because we don't want to be told. Because we know when they examine it, they're going to tell us what we didn't want to know. Something's wrong. And they tell us wrong. I know them damn doctors don't know what they're talking about. One well, of them damn doctors killed my mama. <laughs> mama got ran over by a car 15 times. Went to the hospital, the doctor wanted and she died. And guess what? Damn doctor killed my mama. The doctor didn't kill your mama. Your mama got ran over by a car. But that's what we'll do. We'll want to blame other people a lot of times than taking responsibility. Okay? So that's why I want to make sure people understand. When I get on them, it's not without reasoning. It's because I want to see the better you. You want to see the lesser you because you're comfortable when you're not being pushed. When you're not being challenged. Versus challenge you so you can be better. Man, if I'm a... I still be making five seventy five an hour. I want to challenge myself. Being put five fifth an hour. Because you, you can be comfortable with anything. That's a small thing. Then you start to move on, look at how many other how many other things you can break through and you can tear down. But the main thing is to make sure you get past your fear that keeps you from being safe. You know what keeps everybody from being safe? Your fears. Your fears. You can go too deep. You can get too safe. It's what all you ain't gonna be able to do. Are people gonna know you? Oh, I know you got them, because I have. That's, that's a part of who we are. The biggest fight we got is ourselves. Unmasking. Being who you really are. Being the truth. You come to see a man that's the truth. How that's going to work if you're going to be alive? You coming for the truth, then you got to be the truth. The truth is, everybody had to be unmasked. When well, Yeshua who's seen it, he said, I became undone. So if I became undone, what was I before I met him? I was done. I was good. I thought everything I was doing, everybody around was cool. Then when he saw it, he started realizing, man, he said, I dwell around people that ain't right. He said, the conversation ain't right. He said, man, I, I became undone. Because you coming before something that has no fault and no defect. How many you got? I can't straighten that pink out. I ain't going to say he ain't going to have no crooked pinky. It's just too many. This, 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 this is something you just visually see. How many other things about me that you can't see? Then when he come, he see. And you've seen perfection. You got imperfections. So then I became undone. So it's important to know how do you approach a person like this. Okay? That makes sense? Okay. So we'll know what Kyle is. Okay? Let's go back. <clears throat> According to Pastor, De Pastor Dexter, it's not a soldier. But that's what they have in the army. He fine. He told you to endure Russia. It said endure hardness, evil. Russia as a, all right, a gabar, which is a warrior, a warrior soldier, a mighty soldier. Okay, Kyle, in the battle of the Mashiach, you'll say endure hardness as a good soldier. What does it say? Uh, Yahushua, Mashiach. In the battle of Mashiach, Yahushua. Okay, let's see what else he told us. Why is he telling us all this? Listen. No, each that warth entangled, entangleth himself with the affairs of this Kai, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. Let's see that. No each man coming out of the army is entangled with the affairs of this Kai life. So that it would be desirable to be a, just going to put a sharp, sharp minister. You Shara, Shara of the army. Okay? So now he just told us when a person come out, there are some things that he can't entangle himself. Now, let me ask you before I get to them. Y'all probably won't answer. Do y'all know what you would correlate this with, connect this with, to understand this? Because this is what he's saying. Has he been in the army? Has he been out to fight? So what are you going to use to relate this so you understand it? I'm sure y'all don't know the answer, so I'm going to reach back here and get these good people. They're going to have to give me chapter and verse. Y'all want to look back there and see which one I'm going to give it to me? Chapter and verse? Gideon. That's right. Gideon, that's in the book of Yahushua. That's right, the book of Yahushua. 
So, um, six, five, fifth chapter. Fifth chapter. Start at a fifth chapter. I'll take that. All aha, Dabarim, chapter 20. But his was sounding good to him, so we see how far he can go. Let's see it. That's right. And, and, and what's good about that, see that? And let me tell you what happened. This stuff y'all know, but we got to make sure you understand it. Because now when you hear that, what, what is he talking about? Let's see what happened. How are we going to relate that? Now, y'all saw how quick they gave y'all the answer back then? How quick was it? That quick. That quick. How quick was it? Very quick. They didn't give it to you. We didn't get it from back then. So we all learned together. He wanted, he wanted y'all. You hear the thing. But see, that's what, this, is, this is what's supposed to happen when you read. It's supposed to challenge you. It should challenge you to think. He just told you what somebody doesn't do to go out to fight. How many of y'all haven't been in the military? So how would you know? How would you know that? Let's see. Well, let's do what he told him. What's our foundation? Whatever was written before? What was it written for? It was written to show us, to teach us. So that through, going through without giving way, and the coon. Remember, we got to get consolation. What's going to keep me from not giving way? Because I said it. No, it's because of the reward. Remember that. Something has to give me, to make me, a house catches on fire. Which one of y'all going to run in it? What if your mom in that house? How you going to save them? See that? So you see the motivation? So the motivation is I have to go back and get out. You're exactly right. Why would I run into a burning house? It makes no sense. Unless the reward is greater than the labor. So that's what we look at in the coon being, okay? You look at it's worth me going through here, being hot, possibly burned, so I could save my mother, okay? So for us, we're looking at it's worth us resisting, denying ourselves of stuff so that we can be saved. Y'all got it? So we can be delivered, okay? All right, let's see. This is the 20th chapter of the book of All Our Hot Dabarim. They call it Deuteronomy 20, okay? Like, listen. When thou goest out to battle. Oh, against who? Thine enemies. Against the Russia? When you go out to fight against evil, what happened? And see his horses and chariots, and they own more than thou. More numerous than you. It's more of them than you now. Do be not afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. For Yahuwah, thy Elohim, is with thee. Who, who did what? Brought thee up out of the Arats of Misraim. Now, why would he go back and tell them this? Think about this. When you go out to battle against the army, your enemies, and you see horses and chariots, and you see people, and it's more people than it is with you. Don't be afraid of them. Does that make logical sense? It's three of us, and it's 50, and it's 50 of them. I'm not afraid. That makes sense? Because the Bible told me that. No, it doesn't make sense. It's not, it does not make sense. That if you see more people than you, that you just naturally not going to be afraid because somebody told you that. Let's see why. For Yahuwah, this is who you learned who he was before he brought you out of Mizraim. He, they wanted, Musha said they're going to want to know what is your Shem, your name. He wanted them to know what his name is. His name is Yahuwah. And I'm your Elohim. I'm your mighty one who brought you up from the land, the Beth of Mizraim is with you. Yes, sir. Misraim is one of the grandsons of uh, Kam. He's one of the grandsons of Kam. I don't know, Misraim, let's see what it means. He's a grandson. He should be the grandson of Kam. Shum, your fat, Kam. They'll call him. He should be the grandson of Kam. The meaning of it, let's say, probably a dirty bastard. <laughs> During the time they had us in captivity, because names were changed. 
Anybody had us captive, name is Dirty Bastard. Okay? Now that's in my book. Now that's one of my prejudices, and you need to know that. Anybody had us captive, I call him Dirty Bastard. Now don't y'all call him that yet. How old are y'all? Wait six more months. No, no, I'm just messing with you. No, I'm just messing with you. All right, let's see. Miss, let's see. He put it, he's saying it makes that, that the yard makes a I it's an eye type. Y'all see that? That's why he put the dot. He tell you it's an eye type. Y'all remember, y'all remember what the eye type is? I can't hear y'all. Kyrie, that tight. That tight, he beat some of y'all out. Grown people. That tight. Appreciate it. And Kyrie, yeah, that's Kyrie. Mitz Raim. So Mitz Rajim. <laughs> it's upper and lower Egypt is what they call it, upper and lower. How these people work the map, this is how they do it. White people. Because we never drew these maps, these white folk maps, okay? Okay? That's how white people gave it to us. So niggas, niggas think they smart, okay? So lower... It's upper, at the top. Upper is down. That's how the map will show you Mitzrayim, okay? How many of y'all didn't know that? <laughs> they didn't know that? It's actually going to show you upper at the bottom. It's going to show you lower at the top. That's only because white people flipped your map. Can you show them a, pot or show them a picture? It's going to show you up at the bottom. It's going to show you lower at the top. And all that is, it just flipped your map. That makes absolutely no sense that the upper is going to be at the bottom and the lower is going to be at the top, unless they flip your map. Right here. That's why y'all pay me. You see this? This is lower. This is upper. This is what he'll do to you when you ain't got a brain in your head and you want question. First of all, this don't make sense. Do we have a timeline of when this map was drawn? This man will give you anything and tell you all the lies you want to hear if you don't think to investigate behind him. So y'all saw it for yourself. Y'all, how many of y'all didn't, didn't know that for real? That upper was actually at the bottom and lower at the top. That's what you do when you flip people's mouth. How many of y'all done looked at your, your quilt on your bed and realized you had the bottom at the top and the top at the bottom? Did it make it right? What did you do when you found out? So why them crackers ain't flipped this map yet? You had your bottom, you had your low at the top before. It ain't impossible. Ain't that right? It's just because you turned around. <laughs> ain't that right? And you, you weren't paying attention. Same thing with these people. All you got to do is just flip it back over. Up will be up and down will be down. Okay? So this is what, does it, give you a, does it give you a timeline on when this map was drawn? Hold on, come down a little bit. Yeah, this map, here was drawn. Up. Come here, slide down a little bit. Slide it down. I mean, well, go back, you'll take that part of, oh, no, ooh, went way too far. I'm sorry, here we go, here. See this right here, what they done? So they cut this out right here and put Sinai here. Sinai is actually in Arabia, okay? See, this white man and went and took a map, and all he did, he drawed it out, he just cut you and put you back over here. Now he gave Cairo as part of Mizraim. Now he put Sinai, he took Sinai and he made it part of Mizraim, when it's actually a part of Arabia. This is where we spoke to Alahim. Alahim spoke to us. When he spoke to our Abba, he spoke to us. We was in Sinai, which was in Arabia. But these white people won't tell you that. So they went and moved it. And now you'll look, and they'll show you today that Sinai is actually in Egypt, which makes no sense, because he said, I brought you up out of the land of Egypt. So if you came up out of the land of Mizraim, and you were in Sinai, and Sinai is in Mizraim, that would mean that Yahuwah lied. Yahuwah cannot kazar. So all of that is a part of trying to teach you that you can be free and still in the same land of captivity. That you actually didn't go nowhere. See, now they play with your psyche, the way you think, the way you analyze, the way you strategize things. Versus when he said, I brought you up out of, I totally delivered you from that. 
I separated you. That's how we become the benign of freedom. Y'all got it? What was that? Kafash. To be loosed. That's why he constantly kept telling when he said when he said Musha, he kept telling them to let them what? Loose. He wanted to loose them. Loose them. Allow them to be free and go with the Ruach. Hello? That's what happened, you lose. The wind will take you. The wind is considered to be Ruach. We don't know nothing about no wind. We call it Ruach. Y'all see how the Ruach went through Kentucky? And what the Ruach did? It went right where it wanted, didn't it? You know what they did? They heard the sound. And you ain't gonna believe it. And they didn't know where it was going. That's why they couldn't get the path. Right. He said, that's how everyone do that got the rock. The wife don't know what we're doing until we do it. Right you know when Laban found out your cold was going? That no, that night. He got up and said, boy, you trying to leave him. When he got up, the wind was gone. Yes, ain't that right? He was gone. When he got up, he was gone. That's how we move. When you tell me wife when we leave it, you'll find out we gone. He said, that's what everybody do that got the rule out. We don't have to report these people now. We go where we want to go. Okay? I will go back to what we got. I'm losing my audio. They don't, they don't want to know nothing. Let's finish up. Well, not all. We're not saying that as a whole. Let's go. 20, verse 2. Listen. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle that the Kohan shall approach and speak unto the arm. He's going to speak unto the arm. And shall say unto them, Shama, O Yasharal, ye approach this Yum unto battle against your enemies. So that against Rosha. Your enemy got to be somebody evil. He talked about how you're supposed to endure hardness. You're supposed to endure Rosha. That's your enemy. Anything that come to get me or try to persuade me to do something other than what he said, that's my enemy. Do you feel like I'm your friend? Let's go smoke some dope. What I'll be at that point? I'll be your enemy. Hmm? Come on, let's go get some hoes. <laughs> Ain't we friends? No. That's right. At that point, we broke that friendship. You got to look at me as an enemy, and then you can't get yourself entangled with that. You're on a battle. Y'all got it? All right, listen. Let not your law faint. Uh-oh. Listen to that. Don't let your heart faint. Y'all are not. Do not be afraid. And do not tremble. And don't panic. Neither be ye terrified because of them. Nor tremble before them. Let's see what happened. For Yahuwah, your Elohim, is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to yashu you. See that? That's why they knew about him and saving. Because they knew he already done it before. That's why I don't have to fear these people to the fear that these people have. Because he's done it before. That's what he wanted to remind me of. I was with you and Mizraim, and you were afraid of them. And what did I do to them? They were more, it was more of them than it was of you. They made sure that they introduced abortion to you. That when a male child was born, they were supposed to kill it. They wanted to keep your numbers down. The same thing America does to you today. That's why they're fighting and trying to get the Supreme Court. They need abortion because the people they're going to force into abortions are us. People that's impoverished, people that lack education are going to be the major people to get abortion. Abortion was made for white people. When they little girl during the summertime get messed up and she got to be ready for chili when school start, that's how they came with abortion. You sneak off for the summer. How many of y'all, you see your friends at school the summer you don't see them? When the summer, you remember that? That's how you run the white girl off and go get an abortion in the summer. So when school starts, she'll be ready, in shape, and back on the field. Mm -hmm. Chili with her pom-pom. Black one had her baby. Come back to school, she a disgrace and a shame. White girl got her during the summer. Never missed a beat. You didn't see her, she got them recuperated, she back out there going. These are things y'all need to know. They work this stuff on you when you don't pay attention. The reason why we destroyed again, lack of knowledge. We don't know no better. Those abortion that they used on us, white people used it for them. They didn't want all them kids. They girl, their kids just as freaky as ours. But you wouldn't know it. Our kids, they were coming on, they weren't putting you, black folks weren't putting you on no butt. They try to beat you over behind. White ones ain't taking no chance. I'm putting you on a pill. They put them on a pill as soon as they get aid. They don't waste no time with them. You think they're going to let them get 17 before they get a pill? 
No, you're getting that pill at 12. Look, heifer, I know what you're going to be around here doing. Around here blowing on these men like they in the tubes. They get them on the pill early. That's the truth. That's how you do it. You get them on the pill so they look like they people don't never get pregnant. They look like early pregnancies only with our kids. See, that's how they get you because you don't see it. It's out of mind. So it makes it look like your people are the people that are constantly having kids out of wet lot. Your kids are constantly having sex. White people hide this. Black people want to call the whole family tell the whole family, girl, you ain't going to believe what I call me here doing with that girl. Doing that nasty on my, on my spread. White folks don't tell nobody. That's the truth. What? what? White folks ain't calling nobody in front of that. For what? Right, right. Ain't nobody been it. Then we get her a white dress and give her some massive gear to tighten that thing up and she'll be a virgin. Nah, I'm just telling you the truth. A lot of stuff folks didn't know. That's all you do. White dress and plenty of massive gear. Tighten her up now. That should be frog tight. That boy be so happy. Look at that girl shut up, man, like that. I'm playing a tic tac toe day on her stomach. <laughs> that was just had a C-section and she a virgin. I'm still trying to figure that one out. So now he listen, for you, who are your Allahim? Y'all didn't get that, did it? She had a C-section and she a virgin. Don't worry about it. Figure it out. Hold up for me, hold up for me. Hold up for me. I ain't taught y'all that. Hold up for me. Hold up, I ain't, I ain't taught y'all that. Wait a minute, yeah. Where did I teach y'all that one? <laughs> I ain't taught that one. For you, who are your Allahim? He's your Allahim is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, the Rosha, to Yashi you. So that, that's what we understand. He's there. Why? Because your care is critical. I know what can happen. You're afraid. You're trembling. You're panicking. Guess what can happen? Your blood pressure can go up. You can have a stroke or a heart attack. You can wind up falling out. So guess what? I'm here to make sure I take care of you. I'm here for your care, for your welfare, and to save you. Okay? Let's go. Verse 5. And the officers shall speak unto the arms, saying, What ish is there that hath built a new bed? See, that's somebody done built a new house. And hath not dedicated it. And he hadn't celebrated that house yet. Let him go and return to his bed, lest he move in the battle. And another each dedicated. See that? This man get ready to go and fight. So guess what he told him? If you just went and got a brand new house, it's better for you to just go ahead and go back home and see about your house. Because you'll mess around and get out here in the fight and you don't start thinking about that new house and you wind up getting killed in the battle. Come on. And what each is he that had planted a vineyard and had not yet eaten of it? And used the fruit of it. Let him also go and return unto his bed, lest he moot in the battle and another each eat of it. See that? You went, just went and planted a fresh crop, just came up, and you got to go out and fight. Now you sit here thinking about, man, I sure want to eat them mashed potatoes. Man, well, you know you got to pick them, pluck them, pick them, clean them, and then you got to put them in the pot and mash them up. But anyway, this is, I declare the end at the beginning. So <laughs> uh, this planting some time. What kind of, what kind of vegetable y'all like, fruit? Okay, what kind of meat y'all like? Yeah, what kind of fruit, what kind of meat y'all like? Lamb, okay, you just planted some lamb. And they just growing, and you finna go out and fight. <laughs> so it better you go back home, let somebody come and pluck one of your lambs and eat them. <clears throat> and you die in the battle, okay? Let's see what happens. And? What each is there that hath betrothed a shah and had not taken her. Some man done promised to marry a woman, and now he looking at he getting ready to go out here and fight, and they hadn't got married yet. Let him go and return unto his bed, lest he moot in the battle, and another each take her. See what he told you? He told him now he better go ahead and marry that woman before he go out here and mess around and die in the battle and somebody else take her, because now he gonna be out here fighting. You know what he gonna be thinking about? Man, she gonna probably get somebody else. She probably ain't even thinking about me, and I'm out here fighting. Then he wound up getting himself killed, and somebody else take him. So you know what he told him to do? It's better if you promise to marry somebody, and you get ready to go out and fight. Just go on back home and go ahead and marry that girl. Otherwise, you'll get in the battle, and somebody get yourself killed, and somebody else is going to marry him. Y'all see what he told him? These were the instructions he was giving them and giving them an opportunity to get out. That's your opportunity to get out. Now, when Shaul came along, he told you to endure hardness as a, as a Gabar, which is a warrior, Kael, soldier. 
And he told you that no man that he done chose to be on a battle, he don't even entangle himself, which means you're not going back. She can get another nigga. I don't freaking care who get that house. And they can eat all of the stuff they want because I'm going to be out here fighting. I'm in the arm of Yahuwah. See, him, they had leeway. You can walk away from this for the reasons of. You see, these are reasons you can walk away. Walk away free. But now since he done chose us to be Kyle, he said we couldn't even entangle. Our, these are fails of this arise. We couldn't entangle ourselves with that. Y'all got it? Sure. People don't look at for us, it's a different run than what they had. We can't do that. Here, this is what they're out. People in here do it. People say, well, I just give up. I just walk away. He just told you. Yeah, he done told you to be Kaya. You can't even entangle yourself with that stuff. That's right. When it come down to my obligations and my duty, that supersedes my kids, my grandkids, my wife, my businesses. This is priority. He chose me for this. Everything else I have is secondary. Because he done chose me for this job. And I had to put all those things aside, just like for salvation. You guys are getting an opportunity to really understand what's entail him. You don't actually know how bad things are with you and how bad this world really is. Somebody is watching over us because it's critical. These people are dying in the droves from storms and floods and fires, from mudslides, from earthquakes, from volcanoes from diseases, from bullets, from everything you can name. He's watching over us. You know why? It's critical. We're in a critical situation. And it's important for us to understand what we are. See, we'll look at how hard those people had it. They actually had a little better than we had. What you could do right here, I couldn't do it. You couldn't do that now. Hello? They got out. You can walk away. Then, when he said you're going to burn his shield, I'm warning you. Go ahead and do it. And he wasn't recalm. See, back there, he was hard, Allahim. <laughs> this hard? You just built the house? You ain't moved in it? Man, go home, man. Take, get in your house. You got a young girl, you don't say him, man. Y'all probably been getting married, and all of a sudden, that war just break off. This out of your control. Man, go on and get that girl and go on home. All these, were, these outs for them. We don't have that. Hello? Let's see. We'll show you another out right quick. See if that's... Um, hmm. Beth, Malachim, 2 Kings, 19 and 19. Let's show you another out. <laughs> I try to get ready to let y'all go. Let's see that. First, Aleph. That's how this go. Listen. So he departed thence and found all Yasha, the being of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of olive. So he was the son of the judge. A beast being a son of a bench. Yes, sir. While he was plowing with twelve yoke of olive. No. Uh, 
uh, Bakar. Bakar. Yeah, Bakar. So it's going to be more that be plural as well as singular. All right, with a pair, with 12 pairs of, okay, Bakar. Where? Before him. So they were before him. So they was leading. They and was he with the 12th and all, all Yahoo passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And threw his mantle on him. Let's see what happened. What he did. And he left the Bakar and ran after all Yahoo and said. what he did. What did he do? Left the Bakar. And did what? Ran after all Yahoo. What happened? And said. I couldn't imagine. Let me, I pullaw thee. Do what? Kiss my Abba. And? My aim. Mm -hmm. And then I will follow thee. And he should have told him you can't do that. And he said unto him. Do what? Go back again. For what have I done to thee? Hey, well, no, go ahead and do it. What I got to do with that? Go ahead. And he returned back from him and took Hold a yoke. So he returned following him? From what? Following after him? And what happened? And took a yoke of Bacar and slew them and boiled their basar with the instruments of the Bacar and gave unto the arm and they did eat. Then he arose and went after all Yahu and Sharath unto him. It's not going to be Sharath for minister now. Oh, it does put Sharath. Yeah, Sharath to him. He ministered to him. It's tight. Give me the ninth chapter of the book of Oriel. 9 and 50. Oriel they call Luke. Let's see what he told him. Listen. And Yahushua said unto him. Do what? Forbid him not. Don't prevent him. For he that is not against us is for us. See that? Because all who are not our opponents are for us. Okay? Let's see what happened. And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up. Uh-huh. He steadfastly set his need to go to Jerusalem. So what he did, he made his face. He set his face to go toward Jerusalem. Okay. Listen. And sent Malachi before his Pani. And they went and entered into a village of the Shamram to make ready for him. To arrange for him. Listen. And they did not receive him because his Pani was as though he would go to Jerusalem. So you see what they could do? They could pick that up from the own from watching his face. Tell somebody I want to be there. So they looked at what the purpose of working. We can see, could the man keep looking? Jerusalem that way, he there. Like, here they talking, trying to get him. He could just tell, he don't want to be him. So why are we going to sit here and do all this stuff and all this hoop rough for you? don't want to be him. Have y'all seen people your hair? So you say, you don't want to be him. They face tell you, you don't want to be him. You're like, so you get pissed. You're like, so you don't want to be him. Just leave. you like, they be like, I ain't never said that. Yeah, I could look and tell you don't want to be him. That's the way they felt. His face kept looking toward Jerusalem. So they looked at So he don't want to be here. What, we going to sit up here and do all this? Kick up stuff and get all these dunkers and get all this stuff waving down there for him. Don't make sense. He don't want to be here. Let him go and keep moving. That's what they looking at. So what happened? And when his time of Dean, Yaakov, and Yaukonon saw this, they said, Adon, wilt thou that we amar fire to come down from Shamayim? Oh, they looked at him. And do what? Consume them. Even what? All Yahoo did. You see that? They said that's what all Yahoo did. That's what he did. He saw the people and they came in the second. We didn't get it, Beth. Malachi 1, the first chapter you saw, and they sent out, they wanted to inquire after a man, or they wanted to inquire as a, was that, ball? To try to see was he going to recover. They had fell down through a lattice. And when they went, they saw all Yahoo. And he asked them, was it because there was no Allahim? That you were trying to go and you were going to try to seek after another one. They want to know was he a man all in. He said, if I'm a man all in, let fight you come down and consume you. You ain't going to believe it. Burn them up. <laughs> ain't it right? He said, if I be a man all in, let, let fight you come down for Shamin and consume you. So that's what they looked at. These folk didn't want to take you. They didn't want to receive you. He said, listen, let, you, wanna, 
You want to just call fire down from Shamaim and let it just consume the people? Just like all oh, Yahoo, they ain't just say on their own, they were following a pattern. Yeah. Just like all oh, Yahoo did. Let's see what happened. But he turned and rebuked them. He reprimanded them. And said, Do ye know not what manner of Ruach ye are of? See that? He said, You do not know whose Ruach you are, the Benim of. You don't know whose children you are. They were looking at what happened with all Yahoo. That's a whole different scenario. He let them know you don't know whose children you are. Let's see what happened. Listen. For the Ben of Ish is not come to destroy Anashim's Kai, but to Yashadim. See that? That's what the name was, remember? We talked about a city. We talked about a place for saving. So if that's his name, then he looked at that's not going to be conducive to what I came to do. Right now, I'm coming to these people as a savior. I'm coming to salvation. Okay? So that's what happened. And they went to another village. Okay. And it came to pass that as they went in the Dorak, what happened? A certain east said unto him, What could they have told him? A done. Shall I what? I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. What happened? And Yahushua said unto him, What did he tell him? Foxes have holes. They got dens. And birds of the air have nests. They got Shamaim. But the Ben of Adam had not where to lay his head. He said, I ain't got no place to lay my head. And we know that. And we literally took the long sleep, the big one. Like on life, the long one. Isn't that right? What happened? He had to be laying a borrowed tomb. Because he didn't have nowhere to lay his head. He told me everybody got somewhere. He said, I don't have nowhere to even lay my head. So they came down to him on moot. What happened? Yosef. That's right. Amathea. He came and took him and laid him in his own tomb. So well, never he's never laid. Let's see what happened. And he said unto another, Do what? Follow me. Do what? Follow me. Do what? Follow me. But he said, A done, suffer me first to go and bury my Abba. Mm. What happened? Yahushua said unto him, let the moot bury their moot, but go thou and preach the Malkuth of Allahim. All oh, Yahoo allowed a man to go in. Let all Yahshua go and cook and kiss family and everybody else. This man he got a daddy just died. He let that man know. Let him bury on. Let the dead bury the dead. You need to be going and preaching the Malkuth all about the Malkuth of Allahim. See, we don't get the opportunity. A lot of stuff folk take off in here to go do. It just be a whole lot of stuff, just a waste of time. I just be on with a lot of stuff folk do. See, this is the commitment we got. This man's daddy just died. I tell the man, let the moot bury the moot. You need to go and preach to Malkuth Allahim. <clears throat> Let's see what else he told him. And another also said, a done, I will follow thee. But let me first go go bid them farewell, which are at home at my bed. What? Let's see what happened. Surely he let them did it because all Yahoo. And Yahushua said unto him, <clears throat> No Ish, having put his hand to the plow, and looking back, is fit for the Malkuth of Allahim. How that would have worked with all Yahshua, he'd have told him he was going to go and do all that. That man got to go kiss and cook. Kiss his mama and everybody and cook. And serve food and then went follow. That man told him right here. And Yahushua said, one who places his hand on the plow and looks behind is not fit for the Malkuth Allahim. Now, may I tell you what he just told you? Why would he use plow? Because all Yahshua was plowing. The book told you he was behind the book. book mm -hmm. He let him know that stuff wouldn't work with me. <laughs> Y'all be impressed with a lot of this stuff. I'm not impressed. Why would he tell him about the plow, Justin? What, who, when the man said he had to go and do some plowing? Why would he be telling the man about plowing? A lot of stuff you all wait time to go right behind and do. From burying these folk to everything you got. Listen, I told these folk, let these folk go into the grave. The man I told everybody what to do. I'm just being honest. 
What you gonna do? The man, why he gonna throw? He throw it at somebody now. Did the man mention he need to go tear a field up? Somebody got hit. Everybody think them four had it harder than us. Let me get this right. You went to go and you got to cook an oxtail dinner <laughs> with the rice and cabbage and plantain. The man told me I can't bear a dead person. I can't go tell nobody by. Say, you put your hand in that plow, you look back, so you ain't even fit. I told a lot of stuff these folk don't know. These, listen, a lot of stuff they'll act like, oh, that be him. The man act like y'all can't do nothing. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead. That stuff work real good if you follow all y'all. But he said, told, you don't even know what spirit you are, do you? That man couldn't come here and kill them folk. That don't even make sense. That ain't conducive to his shim. The man was salvation. He said, if folk come to me, you're doing right. You're safe. You're saved. Don't make sense. I ain't come. You don't even know what you're doing. Pay attention. That's why we try to make sure we master this and understand it. It look like it's, it like it's unethical, but he's testing to see where we at. When you gonna let go? When you gonna stop trying? When you think you gotta do your own thing? And we've been guilty of it. I say it worked well. All y'all who, he didn't get cut off. I mean, all y'all see it worked for him in that time. Can't use it now. You can't use that now. Everybody here, you got to know what you commit to. Y'all young men, y'all decide you're going to go all the way and get this thing called salvation. And you get to understand this and do it. And put your hand to it and you decide to do something else. He said you won't even be fit. And it looked like it's unreasonable, but you got to look at what he's giving up. He's giving up everything. Even when it looked, that man kept his face toward Jerusalem. That that didn't deter him. They had to put all the welcome signs. Come on in. GG. They been funny got other Jesus. And I'm like, OG. Cause he been the ancient. We call him OG. So you know what I'm saying? He the ancient. So, the man face kept looking toward Jerusalem. He looked at his time was coming. My time get ready to send from him. So he looked at I gotta stay dedicated to what I'm doing. And that's what we do. A lot of us, we don't do. We get off. We let things get off. We drive behind things and people. This ain't what they want to do. You can't make nobody do nothing. The time you spend trying to make people, they got to be something in your law. Along the way, you're going to get challenged and you're going to decide if this is something you really care about. And then you caring about this means you care about yourself. People think, I need to do this because I owe it to all of him. You owe it to yourself. All of him and all of him, whether you do it or not. All of him reigns supreme, whether you believe it or not. At the end of the day, we all got to come before this man, so we got to make sure we got this right and we have an understanding. Don't let nobody make no fool out of y'all. It'll seem unreasonable, unethical. Look what he had to do. It was unreasonable and unethical if you look at it. How, why should I be dying for somebody else? Val stole something, I'm finna go to jail. That's stupid. Y'all need to lock Val up. I don't say nothing, and I just take and I go. Man, he said, I'm about to do that stuff. He said, scarcely for a righteous man want to die. He said, preadventure for a good one. He said, you know what you were? You was Kataim. You were a sinner. And he said, Yahushua will move. Nobody going to die for nobody else. That's your death. I'm talking about I'm going to die. Mm -mm. You need to die for yourself. So you got to consider what state we were in and what state we in when this man moved. We were sinner. Kataim. So what he asked us to do, I'm telling you, because I love my father, I forsook father, I forsook mother, I forsook land, I had Shamaim. So when he asked you to do something, is it really, un, is it really irrational no, sir. when he did the same? No, sir. Man, forsook everything. So people don't think about it. Ah, I just can't say, I think it's a white man's story. Not a white man's story, it's a story about a man that, that had that much care for us. And he showed up, we'll say we care for people, we'll stab you in the back. We'll say we care for it, but we'll lie to you. We'll say we care for it, and we won't help you. When he said he cared, he demonstrated it. He showed up what a hard boy. People throw away love in it. You tell me, I love everybody. I don't hate nobody. That's because you can't think of who you hate right then. 
That is the high them. You think you say, I forgot about hating them niggas. All them niggas. Even the niggas ain't here that's connected to are gonna be born a hundred years. I hate them niggas too. So you gotta consider a man, a, a man of his stature and what he did. So he asked her to do that. That's what he did. He said, I didn't look back. I kept my hand to the plow. I stayed with the word. He never got. That's why he told the man. Huh? When the man in the 17th chapter of the book of Eucharist, he told, he said, I finished the work you gave me. That's what he said. Before he left, he made sure he finished the work. He said, I finished the work. And every one of you gave me. He said, I ain't lose none of them either. He said, I ain't lose none of them. He said, seven one. And that's the one who was already doomed to go in and be lost in the first place. He said, nah, I didn't lose none you gave me. Y'all didn't get it, did it? The book told y'all that uh, that all Yasha was sitting there, he was plowing with the twelve, and he being one of them. Told Yahushua, he was one of them too. Hello? When he got rid of him, he'd have been twelve. It told y'all Yasha was plowing, didn't it? And with the twelve of them, and said he being one of them. He was plowing too. Why do you think the book came and told you thou should not muzzle the ox that treaded out the corn? The book called. Cause all Yasha were plowing too. I give I be plowing. Y'all ain't gonna muzzle me. I wanna because I snatch that thing off. Y'all ain't gonna be sitting around trying to starve me. Cause I work. Y'all hear me? I work. This thing's serious. Our soul being saved is the most serious thing we got pressing. So when we look at how we transition, those people had their own wall. I ain't trying to come to condemn what they done, but a lot of stuff they did back then, it wouldn't work today. Not under Yahushua, it just wouldn't work. Isn't that right? Wouldn't work today. So now we come along to make sure we get this thing right. So I appreciate y'all. I ain't gonna tell y'all no longer, I guess. We'll come in tomorrow, y'all get your rest, go home, go to sleep. We we'll come in tomorrow, we'll look at this thing again and make sure we get it right. That's two. Appreciate everybody. I'm trying to get all my young people up their way. Cause we need to get it right. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir. And that right, we got opportunity all that time to get this thing right. That cover me in the day tomorrow. That was a dollar short Wednesday, so cover all that. So you show sure been to Oh boy. Well I well, I went and got that Hong Kong flu. What happened? Have you talked to Antoine? Well, I'm there live. Anybody talk to Brenda? What happened? Brutal, you alive again? We ain't see you Wednesday. Oh my goodness. What happened to you Wednesday? What happened to you Wednesday? You the ox out of the ditch. You sure the ox wasn't pulling you out of the ditch? Look at that. He said, we're this with it all. Be nice, man. Y'all, can we get this thing right? So it don't make sense to die heavy wrong. 
Time winding up on them. Quicker than what y'all thinking. Quicker than what y'all thinking. Quicker than what y'all thinking. I want to know how CJ looked in the casket. I just tell you, flat foot, he looked dead. Everybody in them casket looked dead. They supposed to look dead. They dead. When the Ruah leave your body, that's how you gonna look. For it looks so natural. I assure you, I don't look natural dead. That's not natural. Natural for me to be alive. When I leave, it's supposed to look unnatural. Cause I'm leaving it natural. Isn't that right? I love to get back up with the Ruach. Isn't that right? That's the goal. Got to transfer out of him. And it, it definitely ain't nothing, no, what we tell him, man, I'm going to have a party for you. You can have a party you want to. You get ready to leave, but that's occasion now. You leaving him. You should didn't throw no party, did he? That man was sitting there. That man was, that man was bereaving himself. That man think that's a lot. I been, I'm getting ready to walk out of here and leave. That man was sitting there looking. He tried to tell them guy. He said, my hour comes so your hour ain't come. The only guy can sit around and do this stuff. He's looking at that man, my time drawing now. That man sitting down there eating. That man looking at that man, this is it for me. I'm getting out of him. <laughs> and then I look out there, I'd be out of him. That man considering that was supposed to be a time to consider. That man had to withdraw from them people about a stone cast and start to consider. And while they were sitting down, that man couldn't even sleep. It's like a man on death row in the morning. Come at them joking. Up. He, said, he said, man, y'all better get y'all behind up. And that right, you better pull out, you don't end in the temptation. You don't give in. This stuff coming for us, folks. That thing coming to try everything you got. That's why I tell you, I can't tell nothing. All the debar y'all getting, and y'all gonna have to use it because you're gonna be in for the fight of your life. You're gonna be in the struggle of transitioning out of him. And you don't know enough, you ain't gonna make it. You're gonna come up with some dumb decision. And I die, y'all have me a little, let the mofo have a funeral for me on the butt. I tell you, I'll piss on every one of y'all. Better than nobody get up running their mouth talking over me. Take me on there and put me up in that wall. Hell no, son of a bitch, mess me up. Be a mirror, I holler, hey man, Rip. I'm supposed to be dead. I put out the mouth cool. I'm not right. Fooling around. Don't have a nigga around me talking. Don't fall for I won't give. I won't just say some word for him. I said, no, that's the no. We take him on to the wall. He don't need nothing to say. Leave it alone. Like who's gonna let them niggas say nothing? Just go on, wrap me up, put me in linen, wrap me up. Don't need no suit on. All the niggas gonna be doing is frisking in my pockets. Wrap them up in that linen, turn them all back, let me fart in their face. They said that dead man fart to kill you. Shouldn't have been out there smelling. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's uncomfortable. You have to leave him. That's the truth for everybody here. That's why we gotta have enough of this debar in us. That time come, man, we can get back up. Cause pro, we ain't younger than we used to be. That's why I'm trying to instill this in these young, these young people we got. Cause a lot of us, we old and fading out. Like I said, a lot of y'all, y'all ain't gonna do a whole lot. It's, I ain't gonna be counting count y'all for a whole lot. Y'all ain't gonna, mm -mm. I ain't gonna waste my time with it. Try to save these younger generation we got. And most high see fit, he'll let that thing get in them and they'll hold on to it. We just try, just try to make sure we get it. We try to make sure the young people get it. All right, young people out there watching, they holding on. They, they stand there. They young daughter down in Mississippi. I be palawing for her. Got a mind that's, listen, ain't him. She ain't got like y'all. Y'all can call each other, see each other Wednesday night, Shabbat night and different things. She down there all by herself in Mississippi. I made up her mind, so I'm going to start wearing my hair wrap. Now, that's different when you here. you like, okay, I got you. We can look at each other. We get strength. You out here in Mississippi by yourself. She ain't on no conference call with y'all. She ain't on no video, no video game with y'all. You who are putting it in the laws of these young kids, take on their own. High school, winning on their own, so I, I decided to take that stand. I would be waiting to rip theirs off. Don't want nobody to see them. Man, young folks, young folks, they ain't the only way. There's other young folks out here listening and watching. Be just like Shaul told, he told the Yahoo Dean. He said, the salvation on Cain to the, to the Guin, to the Gentile. He said, and they going to hear it. Yahoo will turn away from us. Y'all, I'm telling you something. We don't waste a lot of time. You who are pissed? He better turn away from us and keep moving. He got folks out here willing to take a dedicated stand. I'm talking about young people, kids. Parents don't all be on the same page. Ain't no, ain't, they ain't got no mom and dad tell them, Shabbat, you got to do. They got their own law to sit here and listen and watch us. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and cover my head. I'm going to go ahead and start it on their own. 
These young folks, look, ain't no my mom and daddy do it, I'm fighting my mom. Y'all do it, your mom and them do it, your dad, you can get a whipping. You can't do it because it's in a law, so it's my mind to do it. I'm setting my mind, that's what I want to do. These kids listen to me, folks sitting here, y'all like y'all don't understand. These young folks will get it. These young people get it, y'all keep on sleeping, don't worry about it, you don't take a longer sleep. Y'all gonna mess around, these young folks gonna get it. That man gonna pass a lot of y'all, y'all gonna see it. He gonna pass you, you gonna be left behind. Y'all teenager, focus in and get it. Jerry, get your hands out. Y'all stop. Focus, y'all focus, 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 focus. I'm going on etiquette, everything. I'm gonna get everybody here straight. How you walk, how you supposed to do everything. These young folks gotta get y'all straight. We had that junk in him. A whole bunch of watching. I ain't, ain't close my eyes on nothing in him. Get everybody in here straight. This thing wind up on all we need to do is fall right behind see you be fall out here and you're dead, you're behind in a hole somewhere, and then the mosh pot come, you're sitting in Sheol. That man come get young folks and old folks. That man ain't negating nobody. Ain't nobody here afraid to come get. Ain't nobody mama, daddy, uncle, cousin, brother, and nobody here bad enough to stop that man for whatever he want to do. The man undesignated, we come here in this Shabbat and we learn, we listen, we get a hold of that thing because death is imminent for all of us. Right. Come here, that man move you out of here and come and get you, man, you got to have something in your law. Right. Shoot, all we done done is play, 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 mess around, mess around. This man been recalmed to us. This man ain't going to keep me, going to keep me impatient with us. Man, come along and tell us that's it. I'm done with y'all. What you going to do? Who's going to be the summons him back? Some of y'all done told it. Listen, if one man, well, oh, I'm sorry. Ali told us. We will call Eli. He told us. He said one each, if he commit Qatar against another, he said the shop to judge that. We can march pot. He said, but if you mess around and you commit against your whore, he said, anybody can, can, can entreat for you. You done. If can't nobody entreat for you, you done. That's why it's important for us to get it right. These kids, too, give them, teach them how to walk. Teach them how they got to dance. Teach them how they got to do everything. Teach them y'all got to stay focused. Y'all yes, right. young folks don't realize that man come here and get everybody. That man suck the breath out of baby. Brand new baby come out dead. That man will give it to you just like that. That's your baby. Now take your baby. You be hollering and screaming, hitting the flow, hollering, why, why, and he don't respond. Because that's what I give. I put another woman in bed, I let her family come and rejoice and enjoy that baby. I gave you a dead baby and nothing going to change it. Appreciate that, man. Man, you go to sleep at night and get up, nothing of your own. Let another person go to sleep, they were fine. He said, you fine enough, you ain't getting up in the morning. They can beat on your chair, they can rush you on the ambulance, they can keep, get back, clear, clear. That man said, you're dead, and that's how I give it. That's why we got to appreciate that man. He ain't controlling nothing. Absolutely nothing. Whatever he decide he gonna do, can't nobody turn him. Nobody can turn that man. Mushar tried it. He said, you gonna kill all these people like one man? He said, all these people because of the transgression. He told that man, he said, do this. He said, blot me out. He said, I ain't gonna blot you out. He said, I'm gonna blot out whoever committed Qatar. He said, that's who I'm gonna blot out my suffer. He said, I ain't letting him get off like that. He said, you go ahead and you take them people where they're going. I'm going to visit the Katayim. Mushar tried it. They thought he did it for him. He told me, so. he said, no, sir. He said, I'm not going to blot y'all. I'm going to blot out who committed Qatar. That's why Yahushua was so valuable to us. The fact that this man got something done that nobody could do, the man entreated for us. The man was able to get this man to take it and say, listen, I'll put all my wrath and all my indignation on this man. On this man. Musha couldn't get that done. That's why I appreciate him. I don't mind. I don't mind serving him. I don't mind. And I know I got to suffer for it, too. It come with it. It don't make sense. If there wasn't no suffering behind it, folk would, everybody come to it. Man, what am I going to go there for? Man, go there and do that, man. You're going to still suffer. Still got to get sick. Going out there in the world, you're going to suffer and you're going to get sick. I'm looking at the end result at the end of the day. End result at the end of the day. Put my labor in so it'll count for me later. Ain't that right? But I'm just like that thief. Remember me. The man that came in here, Malku, Zakar me, mark me. Mark me as to remember me. Y'all hear me? 
That what we laboring for. You can't, he gone. Now what you gonna what we gonna do for him? Sing a song for him. He ain't gonna be able to hear. You know, next time he get up, we gonna be in the mosh pot. Same place every one of us is gonna be. Everybody got to be there. But you ain't got to be no sinner. Make sure when you get that now, you ain't no sinner. Everybody here, make sure you ain't no sinner when you get to the mosh pot. We got an opportunity right here to get this word and get some clarity and get some understanding. Isn't that right? Go ahead and pull that stuff. It's a lot of folks. I'm going to run out here and come on. <laughs> he said, man, you can't do that stuff and come back. Put your hand in that plow, man. You better keep plowing. And man, how? I'm going to follow you. He said, you do. Don't take your hands off. You better stay with it. I know a lot of y'all. Y'all can pull out. You can do it. I can't do it. It's in my contract. You got people like that. Y'all, y'all never tell what they do with something. They got some people like NFL, basketball. Them basketball can do anything. They can. They can do anything. You know, they got some guy, it's in their contract, they can't ride no motorcycle. <laughs> they can't skateboard. Let me tell you, nigga give you a $135 million contract, and you out of what? I got a two-wheeler. Nigga, no, you don't. You think I got a $135 million contract on you, $260 million on you, and you think you finna do what? You can't do none of that. Man, you got so many stipulations in your contract, what you can't do and what you can do. Guess what? I got this in my contract. I can't take my hand off the plow. Anybody got no contract? That's in my contract. I ain't complaining. It's worth it. Them niggas willing to take them contract, they look at $135 million. It's worth it. Eternal life, it's worth it. It's worth it. These folks give up their life. They can't be the man they can be or the woman they can be because of them contract. I can't be who I want to be because of the contract that I got. It's for eternal life. Isn't that right? I understand why they do it. That's where they hard at. That don't mean they ain't gonna have no tax problem. They'll they'll wrap their heart around that stuff. Man, come out with taxes. Isn't that right? Man, come something. Then they get sued for something. Now they don't sold their life out, cover mind their life. They still can get sued. They still can have a tax problem. They still can have a divorce and they take over half of it. All that you done wrap your life in and then change your life for, and you can still lose it. What I signed my life to, the man said, I could pick it up. He said, I'll let you take that, and you can pick that back up. That stuff them people got when they put it down, they can't get it back. Y'all got it? That's the difference. Know what you're signing up for. Don't just get it because somebody told you about it. Make sure you understand it. Make sure it's something you want to do and it fits you. Then you stay with it. That's why I've been here this long, because it fit me. Y'all hear me? It fit me. Y'all get it? All right, let's get ready to stand. Give me a seat who a hand clap. <laughs> <laughs>